the woolly mammoth only died out 3,000 years ago. There were woolly mammoths when there were people building pyramids. And so woolly mammoth DNA we actually have. Where do we get it? Um, from the Arctic. It's coming up out of the ice, these perfectly preserved woolly mammoths. Their tusks are worth a quarter million dollars a Wait tusk. Wait a minute. It was warmer back then, <laughs> even was, though there were no the SUVs? The Ice Age was ending. The huh? Ice Age, the ice age well, was I think ending. you got your facts wrong here. Right, They're, right. So they were actually in a warmer place and then were frozen? They, so this has happened before this war. There have been multiple changes in the environment over that. time. It's true. From it's what? true. What's from that uh, from woolly mammoth no, okay. cars. You saw the Flintstones. Yeah, they were driving I, cars. I did. <laughs> I, 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 big side of ribs. At the right, right, car right. Down. It knocks the car over. Yeah. So the woolly mammoths are coming up out of the ice. Scientists are taking the material. They sequence the DNA and they're placing it into Asian elephant embryos. So an Asian elephant gives birth to a woolly mammoth. That's the woolly mammoth project. Going on at Harvard, it's Dr. George Church, who is basically the Einstein of our times. There's reasons to do this, Ben, right? Yes. It's not just for fun. No, why no, we, it's why really do we want a woolly it's to save the world. And, and uh, so the permafrost is this giant ticking time bomb. It's this frozen permafrost that covers the ring of the world, and it contains within it more carbon dioxide than if we burned all the forests on Earth three times. And it turns no, out... methane, too, right? Methane, horrible stuff. Which is worse than... And it turns out that if you can repopulate the tundra with large herbivores like woolly mammoths, these Russian scientists have proven this, they knock down trees, they push up the snow, they actually make the permafrost colder. It can make it as much as 15 degrees colder. So the goal is to release a herd of woolly mammoths across the Siberian tundra. Right, I mean, it now, sounds insane. Now, no, that actually sounds kind of interesting. No, uh, now yeah. I'm back. I think the premise of Jurassic Park is probably more likely than, <laughs> well, than any of this. You know, an this amusement is, park would be more fun, but this is a real likely, good reason probably, to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in someone's view. It's, it's, OK, well, we'll, well, that's a different <laughs> subject. We'll get on. So how many genes do you need? Well, uh, the Harvard lab is trying to go for 23 genes. Um, the, the, the shaggy red hair that you think of a woolly mammoth, the big tusks, the ability to live in the cold, because elephants don't really live in the cold, um, and things like that. Right now, in existence in Boston, there are three prehistoric woolly mammoth genes alive in Asian elephant cells. So it's kind of a wild fact that you know, a few miles from where I live, there is living woolly mammoth right now. Well, um, so the, we're very close. The and the genes uh, are being expressed. Yes, they're in, well, they're living that, in organoids and, well, and, and genes like that. already live. But right. I, I see what you're saying. Yes, anyway, the cells are alive. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it depends. I mean, with definition uh, of life. Uh, right. But the point well, is, you can is that actually, you can we make can do this. Now. The, the so, science is all there. Yeah. So it's just a matter of placing it into the Asian embryo and having an Asian elephant give birth to it. And this is in, 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 in and you always pick how many we got to go. You always pick the greatest subject. You had how many when they, they came along in the last two years and picked this? I mean, woolly the woolly is is everything to me. I think the woolly mammoth is a big good story, and it's and it is it's a, a good story. Yeah, there's something good about it. Oh. Yeah. Hey there! Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.